and welcome to the first ever all virtual SDG Global Festival of Action. I'm Nadira Hira and I'm so glad to be your MC. This festival has been such a meaningful space over the past five years as the UN SDG action campaigns worked to find new ways to inspire, mobilize and connect everyone in our community from the smallest school children to the most powerful institutions. But that work and this space has never meant more. The last year brought tragedy on a scale we couldn't have imagined. It kept us apart and threatened to arrest our progress. Yet what struck me most in the face of all this crisis is how much it's driven you. You're aiming higher, you're accomplishing more, and your advocacy is not only helping us to navigate these unprecedented times, it's also given us renewed hope that we absolutely can achieve the global goals. That's why we had to bring the festival to you, to amplify the change you're making and spread it across the globe. In fact, our brand new digital platform is reaching more of you than ever. We have some 20,000 participants this year from more than 200 countries and territories, because when we say global, we mean it. And our virtual home absolutely rocks. We have two stages, four workshop spaces, four networking lounges, an exhibition zone, and a resource library. And they'll be featuring a host of brilliant speakers and creative content, deep dive panels, lightning talks, interviews, performances, exhibits, and interactive workshops. Suffice to say, you're gonna wanna do some exploring. Check out the program to plan your experience. Don't forget to connect with each other. That's always one of the best parts of the festival. And this year is no different. And keep an eye on globalfestivalofaction.org where we'll be posting all our amazing content for you to watch on demand. Speaking of cyberspace, please post up a storm on all your social media platforms using hashtag turnitaround and our handle at SDG Action so we can take this conversation worldwide. I have to say though, turn it around is more than our hashtag this year. It's our mantra, our mission. We have a unique opportunity right now to redesign, rebuild, reimagine, and actually turn things around for people and for planet. Like John Kerry said just recently, echoing so many leaders, this could be our last best chance. This is the moment when we prove just how much the people's agenda matters to us and how committed we are to achieving it. So are you ready? Well, let's go. I'm so happy to introduce our wonderful host here to officially kick us off. Her passion for change is transformative. And with more than 20 years of campaigning under her belt, we couldn't hope for a more inspirational captain. Please welcome UN SDG Action Campaign Director, Marina Ponti. Thank you, Nadira. To all of you in every part of our world, welcome to the SDG Festival of Action. It's a great honor to launch the festival today with a call to make 2021 a turning point. For people, for our shared planet, now is the time. We must make it happen. We can and we will. The last time we gathered here in Bonn for the festival, we had no idea what we'll lay ahead. But even then, we knew that the structure of our societies needed disruptive change and bold shift. Well, disruptive change arrived, just not the way we had imagined and hoped. Yet, transformative change may be more possible right now than at any other point in our lives. Over the next two days, we'll be exploring four issues at the core of this transformation. Climate change, poverty and inequality, gender discrimination, and global system. You may remember how the last festival two years ago called for individual action to start a butterfly effect to trigger a ripple of change around the globe. Since then, we've seen this principle at work. By wearing masks, washing hands, and giving space, we have managed to slow the virus. I mean, what well, is this? Now it's time to pick up the pace. Let us use what we've learned to shift the way we live, consume, earn, and produce. We can start here 
in our new be beautiful virtual home. We are greater in number than ever before. We have sign language interpretation, French and Spanish translation, and even a stage featuring amazing content in Japanese. Together, we can dream big. We can act, we share hearts and conviction, and we can generate a global turning point that resets our world for good. Before we get underway, I like to say a few thank yous, and there will be more tomorrow. First, to my amazing team for their tireless efforts. None of this would be possible without their passion and professionalism. Then to our 300 speakers, most of whom are women and not by coincidence. Thank you also to all our partners who've built the program with us and helped us reach so many. And then our donors, the government of Japan and the SDG Action Council supported our beautiful Japanese spin-off, then the BMW Foundation, Canon, Oculus, and Lavazza. And my final and heartfelt thanks go to the German government for standing by the SDG Action Campaign in a challenging year and for believing in our mission. Let me now end with a quote by Martin Luther King that speaks to the power and opportunity of this moment. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. So let's move forward and turn it around together. Thank you so much, Marina. It truly feels like none of this is by coincidence, even these little virtual glitches. So you can see that we're catapulting ourselves into the 2020s to be with you. So now to our next very special guest, I'll bet some of you have already noticed that our beautiful virtual space is inspired by the place we've been so lucky to call our festival home in the past, the World Conference Center Bonn. So we couldn't be more pleased to have the mayor of our host city with us. She took office in October after spending more than a decade as a member of the German parliament. And throughout it all, she's remained deeply committed to sustainability and the social agenda. Welcome, welcome to the mayor of Bonn, Katja Derna. Thank you very much, dear Marina, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to start by congratulating the UN SDG Action Campaign for organizing this SDG Global Festival of Action and also for keeping the flame of the festival alive through these very challenging times. I took office in November last year, but I'm well aware that the first edition of the festival was in 2017 and Bonn has had the honor of being the host city of this global event since then. We are incredibly proud to have seen this event grow. I must admit I am impressed with the number of participants registered to the festival from so many other countries and from such a diverse mix of constituencies. The growth of the festival has gone hand in hand with the growth of the UN presence in Bonn. Indeed, this year we commemorate the 25th anniversary of the UN in Bonn and the festival is the first large international event hosted by the city of Bonn in the framework of this celebration. We could not be happier to commemorate this special occasion with all of you turning in from all over the world. Today, Bonn brings together 24 UN teams and more than 1,000 staff who contribute to make our city a sustainability hub. But Bonn is not just the Germany's United Nations city. As other cities and territories around the world, we see our role in initiating local action that can trigger and support the vision for a new world, one that is more equal and sustainable. Cities are the place where people most directly experience the issues embedded in the SDGs, whether in terms of the quality of healthcare and education, mobility, safety, and pollution. Local action has been critical to tackle the pandemic and now can lead the way in making this moment the turning point for people and planet that Marina called for and which we all want. 
The city of Bonn has long been committed to implementing the SDGs. We have set ourselves the goal of being climate neutral by 2035. We want to put people at the center and leave no one behind. Turning the world around needs our innovation, our innovation, our motivation, and a joint effort by all. The SDG Global Festival of Action is a space for all this. I welcome you all virtually to Bonn and wish you can and wish you an excellent, insightful and exciting festival. And I hope to see you all again in person next year. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor. Just seeing your backdrop honestly warms my heart. It's my pleasure now to introduce an activist, humanitarian and public intellectual who is just a most beloved part of our festival family. Joining us from South Africa, reflecting on the power of this moment, please welcome SDG advocate, Eddie Ndopu. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to the SDG Global Festival of Action. There is no question about it. We are navigating profoundly unprecedented times. We all feel it. It's in the air, the anxiety, the sense of despair, the sense that when is this going to end? There is also no denying that the COVID-19 pandemic has really brought into stark relief the ways in which all of the systemic pre-existing inequities that we have long looked over, that that has bubbled to the surface and that we can no longer look away. The challenges are compounded. We are grappling with the crisis of inequality, the crisis of the ecological breakdown of the planet, and the crisis of persistent, stubborn injustices and inequalities. We're grappling with all of these things simultaneously. But you know what's also compounded? Our capacity for creativity is compounded. Our capacity for genius, our capacity for resilience is compounded. I can't help but think about the words of the late Dr. Maya Angelou, who said, and I paraphrase in a poem of hers, that the brave and startling truth of our moment is that we are the possible. We are the remarkable. We house within us tremendous capacity to turn it around. And turn it around, we must, because the stakes are high and the situation has never been more urgent. We have nine years left to ensure that we make a dent and live up to the promise of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The SDGs, a remarkable agenda to ensure that we raise all boats and ensure that nobody gets left behind an agenda that speaks to the challenges and the big questions that are before us as humanity. We need to turn it around for gender equality. We need to turn it around for climate justice. We need to turn it around for inequality. And we need to turn it around so that future generations can look back and say that we did everything in our power to ensure that we leave the world better off than we found it. I believe so much in you, in your capacity, in your brilliance, in your grit, in your imagination, in your insistence on holding leaders to account everywhere. Now is the time to ensure that all hands are on deck. Now is the time to ensure that we amplify the voices of those who are furthest behind the line of opportunity. Now is the time to ensure that we really validate the lived experiences of people who live at the intersection of race, of gender, of class, of sexuality, of geography, and ensure that those voices 
are able to shape the discourse that will enable humanity to not just get out of the COVID-19 crisis, but into a dazzling future where prosperity reigns for all of us. I wish you all nothing but the very best in terms of your deliberations around how we can all turn it around. And as Dr. Maya Angelou said, the startling and brave truth of our time is that we are the possible and we are the remarkable. Oh, Eddie, we, I just could not be more grateful for you. Well, from one special partner to another, the German government has been a key leader in supporting the UN SDG Action Campaign's work, which of course includes our amazing festival. And our next speaker always brings their spirit of action and solidarity home for me. I'm so happy to introduce from the German federal government, a true believer, Dr. Maria Flaxbart. Administrator, dear Akim Steiner, Commissioner Urpi Leinen, dear friends of the SDG from all over the world. You would hear a rustling sound. You would see people nodding in agreement. You would sense a strong wish for success in the room. That is what the SDG Global Festival of Action was like when it was held in Bonn two years ago. Our world has changed a lot since then. COVID-19 has turned our lives upside down. The pandemic shows that we are all linked with each other. And it shows the importance of global action and solidarity. It is another reminder that we need to change our way of life and our way of doing business here and now. So who is with us today? Youth activists, social entrepreneurs, tech innovators, spoken word poets, filmmakers, majors, civil society representatives, business people, media representatives, and leaders from governments and the United Nations. We are united across countries, job backgrounds, and age groups. We work together and learn from each other for our 17 goals. Sustainable development requires a global movement, and you are that movement. Secretary General Guterres has called for a decade of action. Let us jointly fill that decade with life. We must not longer postpone the turnaround toward sustainability. We only have nine more years to achieve the SDGs. Germany, too, wants to remain an SDG champion. The German government just reversed its sustainable development strategy through which we implement the 2030 agenda. And in July, we will present Germany's second voluntary national review at the UN high-level political forum. The change of the COVID-19 pandemic gives us the chance to make our response sustainable. The economic recovery must be based on green and social investments. It must be guided by the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement. The decisions we make today should create resilient systems for future. So our slogan for today is Recover Forward. In that spirit, I wish you a constructive and exciting festival. Thank you, Madam State Secretary. Real solutions are global solutions. Now for another one of our wonderful hosts. The United Nations Development Program has always championed engagement and deep diverse partnerships. It's no coincidence that it houses the SDG Action Campaign. So we're very pleased to welcome UNDP Administrator Akim Steiner. Administrator, could you tell us about your vision for this pivotal moment? Thank you very much, Andira. And as you just said, very proud to join you. Very happy that the SDG Action Festival is taking place this year. Thank you to the city of Bonn for being our virtual host. But good morning, good afternoon, and good evening uh, to everyone around the world, because we have a global audience. And um, obviously, for us in UNDP, it's also a matter of great pride that we are hosting on behalf of the UN family the SDG Action Campaign Festival. And um, with my fellow panelists this morning, I just want to pick up on a very simple idea. The SDGs sometimes sound as if they're only for governments, they're only for 
you know, the kind of intergovernmental processes that there are. But actually, at this moment in time, and this year's theme for the SDG Action Festival, turning it around, turning it around for people and planet, I think speaks precisely to what we're trying to do with this action festival all together from different stages, uh, different organizations, different parts of the world, which is to say that the SDGs are something that brings us together. It allows us to see the world with a common framework, even though realities are so different. It is also to recognize how important it is that each one of us in the midst of this pandemic of all the terrible things that we are witnessing right now, we don't lose a sense of direction, of hope, and very much looking at um, our ability to act together. And this is sometimes, yes, the responsibility of governments, but you know, at the end of the day, as I said in a recent TED talk of mine, systems don't change systems. It's people who change systems. And the SDGs are something that actually each one of us could take home right into our uh, living room to discuss uh, with our family members. What do they mean for us? It can be if you're a CEO of a corporation, it is obviously something that a prime minister or president has to look at. And our hope is that the SDGs are a way of thinking about the way forward, how we can act together. So the many different stages that you are putting up, uh, the many different people who are coming together, I wish them an extremely successful session. I want to thank the government of Germany, Maria Flaspart, our dear colleague who just spoke, has already given us an indication. I want to thank Jutta Urpelainen, the commissioner who is joining us this morning. There are so many allies, there are so many friends around the world, and even a spin-off festival in Japan is happening for the first time this year. Thank you all for keeping the idea of the SDGs not only alive, but keeping them as our compass to move forward. So let's have a great festival. Above all, let's keep hope and optimism. Back to you, Nadira. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's wonderful to hear about the SDGs at the dinner table. Actually, I often talk about the SDGs at my dinner table and they are truly for everyone. So it's wonderful to hear you reiterate that. Now, we'll be hearing a lot about the multilateral system and the festival itself really embodies this concept of inclusive multilateralism. But honestly, these aren't words I hear much outside the UN and certainly not at my dinner table, which is why I'm so pleased to break them down with our next guest. Here from the European Commission, welcome Jutta Erdpalainen. So Commissioner, what does an inclusive multilateral system mean to you? And what's your vision for how it might help us come together to build more just and sustainable societies? Thank you, Nadira. And uh, I'm very pleased to be here today at the Festival of Action. And I thank our hosts, the UN SDG Action Campaign for bringing us together. On inclusive multilateralism, I have three points. First, the momentum is, and the momentum to act is now. The COVID-19 crisis has thrown our lives upside down. Existing challenge, uh, challenges of climate, biodiversity and inequalities, unfortunately, has deepened. So at the same time, the crisis has really brought countries together. And we all recognize the need to do also things differently, to build back better and forge a lasting uh, recovery. So secondly, the EU is working for stronger, more inclusive partnerships with our dear friends and colleagues in the United Nations, but also with other stakeholders across the world. The EU's core values were built on those of the UN. So democracy, human rights, care of the environment, eliminating poverty and inequality. In other words, making the sustainable development goals a reality. So we want to build a new inclusive partnership with those who are deeply affected by today's challenges and who have the energy and commitment to turn it around. So with civil society, women, young people and entrepreneurs. And third, with this new approach, focusing on the key issues and on our best partners, we hope to scale up the progress we are making to address our big joint global challenges, tackling inequalities and poverty, notably through education, addressing the environmental crisis and setting ambitious global goals through our Green Deal and facilitating the digital transition. So I'm really looking forward to hearing 
uh, your views are here today. Expand on one point that you made, um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention here that 70% of the folks uh, watching us live today are young people, 65% of them are women, and 60% of our speakers are women, which I think we both can agree is incredible. But can you speak to how young people and women as a whole are particularly key to making 2021 a turning point? And what do we need to do to, do to support their efforts? Well, my answer is, is very simple. Without youth and women, so without you, we mm -hmm. will fail. And uh, youth and women, they are and they must be the engine of the change. And that's why I want young people in Europe and in our partner countries to help us to decide what the EU's overall aims and strategy should be and also help us implementing our inter international action. And that's why I have personally launched a youth sounding board, bringing together young people from around the world. And this is also why I will appoint special advisor on youth. So I really want to reflect with young people, give, uh, give them the opportunity to, to give their uh, opinions and, and views. And then about glass ceilings, the first breakers are important. I know something about it myself as well. But the most important ones are those who will follow. So the EU will definitely continue to fight for women and girls everywhere, including through our ambitious new gender action plan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner, especially for putting me in those categories that are dear to my heart. <laughs> now <laughs> to the Japan SDG Action Promotion Council, which aims to accelerate SDG action in Japan by working with diverse stakeholders. The council and our festival are so closely aligned that they supported our first ever spin-off festival. Look for it on our dedicated Japan stage. And welcome, welcome to the council's chair, Dr. Norichika Kania. Dear administrator, dear commissioner, dear secretary of the state, and distinguished panelists, it is a true honor to address the opening of the SDG Global Festival of Action. And I'm proud that Japan is the first country outside Germany to hold a national edition of the global festival. It will only be by working together that we will achieve the transformation at the heart of the goals. The global goals are more urgent than ever in light of COVID-19. COVID-19 started as a disease, but it has become a crisis and we will only recover by acting holistically and simultaneously meeting the needs, rights, and aspirations of people, particularly those who are most vulnerable. We therefore welcome the SDG Global Festival theme of making 2021 a turning point. The devastation and suffering of the pandemic should not be in vain. All leaders, including all of you watching today, should join in the imagining our societies and making innovative and bold actions through learning from new ideas and successful cases. Let us combine our ideas to work for people and the planet equitably within and across countries. This will be the spark for action on the vision of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in line with the cherished principles of multilateralism, international cooperation, and solidarity. Actions to realize transformation will require behavioral changes that reach across entire societies. Like all other UN member states, Japan is also committed to accelerating our efforts to achieve the SDGs domestically, globally. In Japan, I see increased public awareness of the SDGs and growing efforts by the private sector. But the challenge remains further enhanced actions by people. 
This is why we supported the Japan spin-off and this is why we are organizing a local event to inspire and encourage local actions in Japan. As one of the authors of the 2023 edition of Global Sustainable Development Report, I would be listening carefully to the discussions in the coming two days to gather and promote leverage any ideas that come out with the potential to trigger transformative actions. Let us turn in time to around together. Thank you very much. Huge thanks to Dr. Kania for bringing the festival to Japan and Japan to the festival. Definitely check out the Japan stage as soon as you can. Well, what an opening. Don't go anywhere though, because there's plenty more to come. Here to play us through to the other side with two stellar performances, please welcome 2020 US Youth Poet Laureate, Mira Dasgupta, and straight from the Alps, electric harpist, Keti Fusco. Enjoy.